from the white trunks, trimmed with black and gold. With the perfect professional record of seven contests, seven wins, all inside the scheduled distance. He comes to the ring as a two-time ABA champion. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Olympic Super Heavyweight Gold Medal of the 2012 Olympics. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the undefeated AJ Anthony Joshua! Thank you, the bill is Gary Brennan, our referee in charge of the action. He's Steve Gray. Eight rounds of boxing and introducing to you firstly. Please welcome Constantine Irish. This is eight. Three minutes. Right, Anthony. Okay, boys, if a cold break, you take one step back. Don't let any of your punches go. And most importantly, you protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, boys. Well, Irish has been around the block as Joshua gets ready for his eighth professional fight. Irish has oh, shot, and in his only appearance in the UK three and a half years ago, he lasted just 74 seconds against Ty Fields. Joshua has a habit of catching opponents early. Let's see what happens here. Joshua, big, physically imposing, and then when he does land clean, the power is just far too much for him. Yeah, and there's a few things he does naturally, which he's definitely not been taught. You know, he's doing one just as I'm talking. Yeah. And as you see, he's controlled, he make it messy, keeps them at arm's length. Look at this jab. Comes. I mean, that's terrific. Just spearing into Irish. And Irish lacking the movement to get out of the way of him, and then just turning the corner with that cheeky little left hand as well. Just measuring him up. And Irish managed to block that, and then a uh, little assault from the veteran with Anthony Joshua. How's he going to take being hit hard on the chin? We don't know the answer. We will one day again in and out of range so quickly as well, he's as you said. For a heavyweight, uh, a bit of problem, but having said that, his foot movement is good. You know, he doesn't pull his half step back as I actually try to come forward. So they're certainly doing a good job. When you're dealing with the lighter weights, you can move them up in with heavier guys. I think they've managed some of that uh, recently. Yes, just with a bit. Joshua. <laughs> yes, in case you didn't get out with Vladimir Klitschko. It doesn't get any better than that. And spearing, hurtful. Irish looking to land the right hand of his own. I think the heads just came together then, acknowledged. And you can see Irish very careful, just watching how he goes in. I mean, what we do need to see is someone who can take him a few rounds. Will Irish be able to do that? I'm not so sure. shot in there from Irish. They're just letting the punches go. Another good body shot from Irish. But yeah, it's that. That's what does it. It's that one, two, that right. Defeating Joshua has never been passed. Two rounds. Is this going to be another second round victim, or will he go into new territory? The first four in the second. Is this number five here? And he's certainly opening up as if he wants him right here. And Irish shipping some punishment. Yeah, well, Joshua. Right his own, though. He was throwing solid punches towards the end of the opening rounds. He did that lead at one time. If he can get them out, he gets them out. It's interesting when Irish landed a big power puncher in the heavyweight division anyway. But that must have. And I think the jab is also saying there's nothing he can do about that. Uh, solid punches. That was perfect balance. Yeah, he was out of range for that. But it's just a case of the proper side retrained, isn't it? And a couple of digs to the midsection from Irish. Anchor in this fight so far, Joshua. Yeah, they're the ball out the gun slow down as well. Joshua's corner. He's retrieved. So a breather for Irish. He was out there with Klitschko. He said he just learned so much. People, people who work with him say he really is a sponge. He had all that, all that knowledge, all that experience, takes it all on board. We've got to give Irish a trip along the way. Kept his chin out of harm's way. 
combination, but as you say, once again, Irish worth repeating again, he might have been bombed out a couple of times. Went for the big, went for the big bomb himself there, but he has gone the distance. Against well, I was about to say earlier, and we see just... him, you know, after five or six rounds, looking at natural stamina he has, there's certainly no signs of it. It'll be good if we see it. All the kids got right. He's just trying to what, he's, when you throw a jab, he's just trying to swing working it. well. Keep doing it sooner or later. Seconds corner. You'll catch him clean, taking nothing, getting good punches home, putting corner. Really looking at how long a Joshua fight is scheduled. Oh, yeah. For anyone who's interested, this one is down for eight. Okay. Irish doing a nice job of making Joshua miss. Oh, nice. From the Watford man. Oh, oh yeah. that's the one. Miss that time. Took everything, didn't he? One big right hand and a punch. That was well after he was on the floor. Joshua has to be hit. You okay? Thumbs up. Steve Gray asks the Irish if he's okay. He was that big swinging right hand, and Steve Gray is right on that and runs as you say, Jim. Well after. So is resistance about to prove to Dean Irish? Nah, there's a difference in Irish, he's got a full power, and that was bang on the chin, he did well to take that. He'll still be in there, full credit to him. And it gets another one, the towel's come in, and he got absolutely slaughtered with a left hand right on, the, right on the decision of Steve Gray to jump in there. They'd seen it, and they said, I'm getting the towel in. And Steve Gray, I think, had seen it up as well. It was that that did all the damage. Well, we complimented Irish the way he was giving it a fight to Joshua, but that big right hand, the first one that landed cleanly on the chin and then caused the knockdown, you could see the difference in Irish when he got back up again. Can't blame him, he said they were quite right, we knew what was on the way, and uh, just before the uh, referee Steve Baker, uh, the finishing punches did land. But another terrific performance, Joshua, and a little bit of credit to Irish for making him work for it. Please that did all the damage. That one landed clearly on the chin. He was landing, you know, punches to the, the forehead. And that was the finish. See, and he was on the way to the floor. So, I mean, at this stage, I tell you, you have to really be careful of that. So down he goes, and this is the finish now. Nowhere to go, matter of time. So thankfully, didn't have to take too many more. Job done for right. Anthony out. Joshua. And as you say, no one's gonna no one's gonna argue with this stoppage. I Richard done what he could do. Disqualification. Yeah, was it a bit of infu youthful enthusiasm? Yeah, was it a bit of just, spite? What do you think? He got carried away, you know. He... Anthony Joshua! The story continues to build and it'll carry on. This is the finish now. Nowhere to go. Matter of time, so thankfully didn't have to take too many more. Job done. Eight out of eight for Anthony Joshua. And as you say, no one's gonna no one's gonna argue with this stoppage. I Rich had done what he could do. The corner had seen enough, Steve Gray had seen enough, we'd seen enough, Joshua had seen enough. There is gonna be some talk about that one when he hit him when he hit him when he was on the floor as well. And as you say, Jim, you've got to be careful with that because that could be grounds for disqualification. Yeah, was it a bit of infu youthful enthusiasm? Yeah, was it a bit of just, spite? What do you think? He get carried away, you know, he, he's used to finishing opponents, but you really you have to pay attention to, to that. Uh, I mean, when you think, can you imagine maybe a couple of warnings beforehand for low blows or whatever, and that's the thing that just uh, turns a disqualification against you. Just maybe too much enthusiasm, but 